Hey guys, here's a quick video just talking about the uh, the hardware kit for the RC20 um, uh, front suspension kits. So um, I'll put the, the list of the screws in the, the description uh, with this video telling you exactly what these screws are. Um, so if anybody does want to get them on their own, then they're certainly um, welcome to do that. I think it would be way more expensive than than just buying them from me. I'll put all the pricing information and everything also um, in the description and, and how you can get a hold of me to, to order these. I'm, I'm just going to kind of keep this video um, quick. But this is basically all the screws that are needed in the in the kit here. And there's a few different lengths. They're all size OT80 screws. There's a, a couple nuts in there, some washers. Um, again, I'll, I'll put the description of what all this stuff is in the um, in the in the uh, description below the video. So again, if anyone does want to order any on their own, but again, it would be way more expensive unless you're planning to build, you know, 100 of these front suspension kits or you know, 50 or something. Then maybe maybe it would make sense. But um, I'll put that information in there. So these are the screws that come with the kit. The other thing that's going to come with the kit then is going to be the the shock collars. And so if you've watched the videos already on how to assemble these, you know there's some little tiny collars uh, that look a lot like this, if I can get it to focus, that go in there to, to allow the shocks to move freely and to um, uh, allow you to tighten the nuts all the way on the top and uh, of the shocks and give you something to tighten those nuts against. Um, so I need to know what, uh, what shocks you're going to be using to know which, uh, which collars to send you. So um, I think I mentioned this in, in one or two of the other videos. So there's a few shock options now, which, which kind of make things confusing. So let me start with the oldest oldest version first. So when these cars first came out, they came with shocks that look like that look like this. And again, I, I go through all this on on one of the other videos. But this is the older style shock where it's got a hole that goes all the way through it. And you can see the hole is a little smaller on one side compared to the other, and and that's fine. So. With these older style shocks, you need the the 72,072 inch uh, shock collars, okay? And you actually need the shock collars for both the, the top and the bottom. So that kit will basically look exactly like uh, like what you see here, where there's four collars, there's two shorter ones and two longer ones, okay? The next option is if you buy the the shocks from Associated, what they seem to be selling now are the ones that have the sort of ball cups on them. And in the video, I show you how to drill all the way through these and then take your Dremel tool and, you know, kind of grind the back of this ball off. And when you do that, they end up looking more like this, which is kind of more similar to the uh, the older style shocks, but you can probably tell that the hole in here is, is a bit bigger than it was on the, the older style shocks, just because kind of the way that it, that it comes out when you when you drill it and so on. So if you're using these associated shocks that you're modifying like I show in the other video, then you actually need the 095, the 95,000 shock collars, because again, we're trying to fill a bigger, a bigger space on the shock, okay? And then the last option, which um, I, to me I think is the best option, is to just order the, the parts tree, and uh, I'll make this parts tree available um, tonight or, or tomorrow. And you can actually just order it with the shocks that are designed specifically for this kit. Uh, there's another video showing you there's a little preparation work as, as you would expect making these shocks, um, you know, slide free, freely and so on. I'm not going to go into that here. There's a, another whole video on it. But if you order the kit that has the shocks included, then you're going to use um, the 72 thou shock collars but you actually only need the longer collars which go in the top. I designed it so the bottoms of the shocks um, don't need collars anymore. So they're only gonna be used on the, um, on the top of the shocks. So, you know, let me know um, which of these three shock options you have. If you, do use, um, if you do use the kit that comes with my shocks here, then what I'll include, and I'll, I'll put the pricing um, you know, down, down below as well, is you're going to need uh, some springs. If you buy the associated shocks, um, they come with springs. The shocks and springs are about 12 bucks. Um, so I'll try and make everything, uh, you know, more uh, less expensive than that. 
but so you need to let me know if you're going to use um, the shocks that come with this uh, with my plastic kit because then I will actually also supply with the uh, the screws and the correct collars then I'll supply you um, a couple springs and it'll I don't know it'll cost a, a few bucks more than just if you get the hardware alone but that's basically it so um, again I'll put all the information in the description down there along with my email address and you know how you get a hold of me to order these things and um, for the most part I have all this stuff in stock so I should be able to, to ship things pretty quick um, you know these parts are tiny so shipping is going to be really cheap honestly I'll probably just pop them in a regular uh, regular mail envelope that I don't know how much mail is these days what is it like 50 some odd cents um, but again I'll include all the information on, on pricing and, and shipping and so on and that should be everything you guys need and then of course this uh, parts tree either the one with or without shocks depending on what you want to do you'll order that from shapeways get the hardware the springs if you need it from me and that should be all you need to convert your car thanks a lot guys